Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the permadeath run. This is Diaries of Death and we are following uh, Patrick the Monk who has so far gotten himself a full equipment, although full is maybe not as much as one could think. Uh, and he got himself a horse which on the other hand is quite nice what the hell is going on here we want to go to the watchtower because that's exactly where today is going to lead us we're doing a few bandits here and there we'll explore the landscape and then we'll join the civil war because that's really what patrick's desire is to take revenge uh, for the Stormcloak. So let me write to the quest location and then we can give it a go. It's time for some fighting. We'll make a short hold here at Redwater then. You here for the skooma? Head around inside, there's a trap door that will lead you in. Hey there, friend. If you're looking for a fix, you're at the right place. All right. A little bit of a dealer convention. What could possibly go wrong? Skoma is uh, certainly something that uh, Sanguine could be uh, could be a helpful patron with. Alden, head on in and behave yourself. Well, <laughs> wait, you're serious? This is the Redwater Den, purveyors of the best skooma outside of Balmor. Mm hmm. Take a look. <laughs> well, skooma is a bit pricey. How about you pay for your habit like everybody else? We're not running a charity here. <laughs> Well, they are not aggressive, and although it would be perfectly fine to kill them and loot a lot of skooma, unless they leave me no other choice than to defend myself, I think we're going to be okay. What? Who? You're that one from Helgen. Barely made it out of there myself. I think we'll get the well-rested bonus. But of course, I forgot we killed someone, so the Dark Brotherhood is on our trail. Bit of a derailing, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Sleep well. Does it matter? You're half of sky. Oh, but don't. But there is a slight. You see, Grelod, a kill you must reap. Well, now. If you talk, you see, make your choice. Am I? Then you know where we stand. Make your kill and we're square. Repayment of your debt is but a discreet knife thrust away. The conniving Khajiit. Cat like that was sure to have enemies. It's no wonder you... Ch hm. When most would speak, you listen. You think. You understand that the only thing that matters is you following my orders. To kill. Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, when quest... I'll see you at home. So, we officially got the <clears throat> request to join the Dark Brotherhood. 
I knew it at some point uh, when we would go to sleep. We simply would uh, be dragged into this lovely shack near Morthal. And I tell you what, we might as well use this as a bit of a dynamic uh, way how the campaign plays or how the diary here plays itself. I wanted I wanted to originally go for the bandits near Riften, but there are a few bandits near Morthal and might as well do that. Oh, there's a spider. Nah, I'm good. Okay, let's try to get a bounty. And I'll look for a new bandit camp. Okay, we find ourselves in the only bandit camp near Morthal. That's worth the name, Orthheim. Orthheim. However... Is a tricky situation. Envian, the boss here, is a highly leveled dual wielding bandit with poison usage. So kind of run the snake, but in in a good fashion. Our damage is good, but we won't be able to do those shenanigans against him. He has way too many hit points and deals way too much damage to make that work. So this needs to be on point, very precise, and we gotta be careful here with him. Elsewise, going into melee might be a death sentence. Wonderful. One hit and we're almost done. I think that was him hitting us once. That's a bit of a taste of how it feels when he hits normally. Mind you, that was m most certainly not a power attack. Let's get our potion set up. Deliberately taken that hit because I wanted to kill the bandit before his boss came. Healing back up. And I think we need some magical regeneration as well. Fortunately, none of our ingredients does that. Okay, well, we started with at least 50 points of damage against Envian. Isn't that fantastic? I was sort of hoping for a scroll. Envian has the tendency to just bum rush you all of a sudden. Next thing you know, exactly, you're taking a hit. Wow. I need to strengthen our defense here. 
45 armor rating. Don't uh, be stuck there, dude. Look at the speed that he is using in order to hit. Healing back up. We can only take a hit. At best two, but certainly not the good. Full barrage. Wait, what is that other guy doing? That was a Stormcloak soldier. See, that's when he's trying to bum rush you. Evasion, very helpful in, in those situations. Oh gosh, I wish we had some more ranged attack options. Unfortunately, we don't. Just trying to get on the other side for the love of God. That was the one hit we needed. That could have been the other one. Time to regain our composure. He's far down, we are far down. This is intense. Potion wise, we can heal up. He sort of heals up as well. Uh, sword of Thunderbolts and Enron's Scimitar, which is a fantastic weapon. Had a scroll, multiples, and an outfit with faster magical regeneration, which I think we're going to take, just like everything else. Ooh. Might not have looked as close, but it most certainly felt like a close combat. No, actually it also looked close. What am I saying? But there are still a couple of bandits left over in here. Time to hopefully pull them one by one. Oh, this guy came into our back quite confusingly. Almost missed him. Okay, so we got a new toy to play with. That spirit wolf roll turned out to be quite good. I'm 
I'm still hearing more bandits. And there is certainly one. She's ignoring that spirit wolf. One more to go. And that guy, we could close our distance to him quite rather quickly. Right, that was a difficult dungeon. Holy moly, close combats all around. Really close ones. Quite a bit of cash loot. A nice chest with quite, uh, with a lot of uh, XP in it, so that was worthwhile. And we're going to grab all of the other ingredients here. Good. Let me do that. We're we will go to do a, an actual other bandit camp, one that we do have a bounty for kind of close the loop of uh, what we originally wanted to do. Okay, time to go for the next bandits. I, by the way, realized uh, that we had a drop of a dwindling magic necklace with 16% magic resistance, which is fantastic. So, lucky us, I suppose. That isn't happening too often. Good. We're moving straight to the uh, tower with the bandits. Still only 300 armor, unfortunately. <clears throat> That's very, very light compared to the armor ratings that the enemies uh, require in order to mitigate their damage. So we're still a one shot, two shot rather. Trick us. Just a what the? No. Ah. Okay. No clue why he wouldn't do anything, but uh, he definitely. Carried quite a few attacks with his steel armor. Boss is still here. That two-hander definitely is deadly if he hits us. A 
and he has a huge range at one, uh, advantage so we gotta heal up fortunately not much I can do Solid hit for him. That's a dangerous situation. Somehow they always get stuck on those stairs. But he's fast. One hit and we're done. Well, on the other hand, this time we had quite a bit more punching power. Heavy armor, okay, cool. Another orcish bow, that isn't all too bad. Weight-wise, we're fine. We can take that and still be okay. In terms of other stuff, that might be interesting to sell. Yeah, overall, actually quite uh, decent loot. Um, let's use the time to do a level up. We wanted alteration to 25 next. Okay, more to come. We have just finished that. Need to hand in the quest and then I think we're off to the actual uh, quest which is in Convergent uh, for the Civil War. Welcome to the Legion. I'm glad you're with us. I don't like the looks of this place. And I'm not talking about the Stormcloaks. Talking about... old ruins. They don't want us here. The ancient ones. Better left alone. But never mind all that. We're the Emperor's soldiers. We'll do our duty no matter what stands in our way, right? Well, I don't know about that. I actually just joined the war to kill some Stormcloaks. So couple of long-term buffs that and that and healing portraits should be fine looks like the damned rebels got here first no matter we have the element of surprise prepare to move out I'm ready ma'am Good, how about Potion of Gradual Stamina Regeneration? Those Stormcloaks are here for the same reason we are. Ulfric, the Pretender, wants that crown, but we're not going to let that I realize some of I might need to skill a few points into Magicka as well, because if we ever want a higher armor, we need to be able to cast it reliably. Show these rebels what real soldiers look like. So alteration rogues would be helpful. Generally, 
anything that reduces cost uh, cost of alteration. This here could be exchanged. The only real good item at the moment is the magic resist the rest of our equipment is nah. Trying to attack from uh, from the side and from behind. I'm not 100% sure if the inside of uh, this dungeon is already fit for purpose. We are not necessarily at the level where that could work. Amulet of Talos. That's good loot. Each of the soldiers by themselves were already higher level than us. But it's one of those few occasions where we would have support whilst going in. I'm not. Many are legion veterans. They may be traitors, but they know how to fight. We had the advantage of surprise this time. Don't expect it to last. Let's move out. Good. Fully buff. We're clocking 350 armor. Everybody ready? We charge on my signal. Time to show what you're really made of. Okay. I really feel like a mook in a much larger battle. No, 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 no. Don't attack me. No, no, no. Okay, I think I actually got a couple of uh, the guys. Everyone else with me. Well, my biggest concern is one trap and we are toast. But that's the exit. <laughs> and these guys drop greater inside potions. Well, yeah, we really shouldn't be here. But okay, I mean, I guess as long as we're not uh, going to be attacked, we're fine. The moment that that changes, though, things are not going to look that pretty anymore. Well, I will need help. Can't fight those storm cloaks by myself.
Guys, you're running in the absolute wrong direction. I thought I brought you some friends. The Stormcloaks are here in force. Stick close and follow orders so we don't stir up the whole place against us. For the sons of Skyrim! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, at least she's freed up. So now what? Can you move again, Rika? I don't like this Perfect spot for an ambush. It is an ambush. Jump to conclusions, soldier. The Legion always finds a way. I'd rather take a moment and look around than walk blindly into an ambush. Agreed. Auxiliary, see if you can find another way through. We'll charge in to help as soon as we hear fighting. Well, thank you. Okay, I definitely feel like a mook in uh, these combats. All I do is run away and try to not stand in the way when they hit. Well, they charged in faster than I would have expected. Unfortunately, no kills for us. Can't even get to the front line. Holy moly. What in the nine holes is that? Is this what killed that stormcloak over there? Can't be. Looks like it's been dead for a hundred years. Steady now. The Legion has faced down worse than a few dusty old bone walkers. We're not leaving here until we get what we came for. Now let's keep moving. Well, you talk a good game with your level, I don't know, 40 and uh, glass mace plus uh, dragon bone shield. Another diluted inside potion. Yeah, I'd be careful with those. And this must be the Hall of Stories. Oh, I've heard of it. These walls are supposed to show the history of the ancients who built this place. Bad we can't read these carvings. Who knows what secrets we'd uncover? One thing at a time, soldier. Focus on primary mission. We're searching for the crown. Good, so we got the Ebony Dragon Claw. tell you what it's used for letting the draugers out okay you guys tank i'll 
occasionally slap some of them. That and that, thank you. Auxiliary, do what you do best. See if you can find some way to get that gate open. Well, of course, it's up to me again. Continue to keep looking. Greater inside potion. Holy moly, we're definitely heals overhead in something that is much greater than us. Oh, <laughs> one. And she is doing well. Boy, she is really doing well. Like, her damage is crazily good. Can't really do much against the Draugrs here, unfortunately. Well, that very much looks like we're fighting a, dro a Draugr boss. The crown should be around here somewhere. Spread out and keep your eyes open. Hey, I found a crown over here on this corner. <laughs> yeah, take it, dude. Well, it seems he actually minds. Let's get that crown, men. Who's there? Okay, I killed one Draugr. Not bad. Not bad for a start. That was the first dungeon at level 4, granted, with a bit of help. Quite a few inside potions out of it. But likely the ones that are a bit too high in level. I mean, most of the ones that we've uh, gotten are greater inside potions. Even the soldiers outside gave us greater insights.
Well, maybe it, it isn't as bad. So, let's level up. Uh, we got alteration to tw uh, 25. Very good. Then, in terms of thief skills, none that are taking priority at the moment. Rather one hand to 25 and then maybe smithing to 25 because I've read that there is uh, the option to build that there is the option to build specific unarmed weapons that you can then afterwards enchant. Enchanting to 25 also helpful. But we're going with health. Magicka is still looking really, really bad. Could go for alteration. As a perk increase, that would be a natural choice. Can't really do anything before we hit 50 here. So dexterity is a no-no. Evasion could be something. Uh, power attack steal more damage so that's not bad one handed of course would be a straight up damage buff I'm not sure if one handed dagger swords axes and maces might actually not improve uh, the unarmed damage I would need to test that out, but now is not the time to test it out. We're going for alteration. Definitely the major armor uh, line. Feather falling would be good. Very good. Transmute muscles, however, is even better. Unfortunately, we're not having the Magicka to cast these spells yet. So, that we will need to work on. But we are level 5 for almost level 6. So, I'm wondering if I should pay a visit to Winter uh, Hold College and just get a couple of base items uh, there. Equip us so that we can um, have an equipment to at least cast the alteration skills. I don't know. I think about that. In terms of episode, that was a successful one. We killed uh, a lot of bandits, got ourselves onto that over that critical hump. Uh, the build deals an enormous amount of damage, and we have a couple of really healthy finds. I am still concerned about our armor or lack thereof, so that's a problem. Of course, we could just wear uh, light armor, but that would violate the idea of it being kind of an unarmed monk. Uh, so it really should be all coming from uh, alteration, and that's currently not yet working out. So we got to find a way of uh, making that work specifically when when we're going into a dungeon i need to be able to buff and kind of keep up uh, the the chance to rebuff uh, so i need to work on that anyways uh, if you want to buff also something in this case the channel and the um, traction on the channel i would ask you to click that like button uh, that always tells the algorithm that you enjoyed your time here and see you in two days bye bye